Hi, it's Ina here, and I want to make another art journal page. And I'm planning to use these receipts I collected uh, for the background. And I also want to use this magazine image. I'm thinking of actually painting it, painting over it, as I've seen a couple other uh, videos on different channels um, where it was done, and it looked really fun. Uh, one of those channels is uh, my friend Pam Pitanino. She did a face like that for the last video hop I participated in. And then uh, Katie from Moonflower Art also did a page just recently. So I want to give it a try. And of course, I will put a link to both of these uh, ladies' videos in my description box. Okay, so for starters, I'm uh, just gluing down my receipts using very simple school glue. By the way, these receipts are my weekly grocery shopping bills. Yep, I am feeding three very hungry teenage boys and yeah, I have really long receipts. <laughs> so it's dry and funny is that actually some of the color of the receipt faded. I don't know if it was the heat or the glue. Anyway, I want it to fade a little more, so I'm adding some watery white acrylic. And after that's all dry, I'm working a little bit with my ink pads. You've seen me do this before, and I really enjoy just uh, using my finger and a cloth and just, uh, you know, adding these ink pads that way and just mixing up the colors. I just enjoy it. and. Uh, you have a lot of control when you use your fingers like this. <laughs> so what else can I talk to you about? I'm trying to talk through this video because I know I often put on music, but uh, I thought I'll try something a little different. Okay, here I'm giving a second coat of very thin white acrylics, and then I'm taking some off using a stencil and a baby wipe. Now, it doesn't come quite as bold as I had hoped, but after this dry, you can see it. And it's a little more delicate, but okay, that's fine. And here I'm using some matte medium to stick down the image. And of course, a credit card always comes in handy to get rid of the wrinkles and all the little bubbles. And now the receipts left a little bit of texture underneath it, so it's not completely perfectly flat, but it will be all right. And I'm also covering the image and the rest of the background uh, with a uh, matte medium, just because I want it to be easy to paint on or use my marker on. So this is just simple acrylic paint, and well, I'm just uh, playing here a little bit see if I can come up with a decent combination of colors because I don't really have a proper flesh color, but um, I'm just mixing as I go a little bit lighter, a little darker, and I'm just having fun here. Now this whole process took me a little while. It was relatively long, so I'm speeding it up in just a second really fast, just because I think it's going to be a little too boring otherwise for you. So I'm going over everything, starting with the hand, just to get a little feel of it, and starting with the easier areas, really, um, her clothes and her hand, and before I get to the face. Now, I like to paint. Uh, painting was actually the first thing I started doing when I finally had time to get into arts and crafts. And I haven't done a whole lot uh, of proper well, what's proper, but proper painting on a canvas. Um, because Ever since I uh, found mixed media, I just, uh, well, get sidetracked into art journaling and craft projects and all these kind of things. But that's okay. I take it as it comes. If I get inspired to paint, I paint. If I feel like making a journal, I make a journal. That's a fun thing about uh, arts and crafts, you know, I am not under any obligation to anybody, but uh, just what I enjoy, and that's what makes it so fun, I think. So here I'm um, mixing all kinds of colors to kind of uh, 
uh, cover up the face. I do want to keep the features, of course, uh, but of course it will look like a painting and her features will change a little bit just because of the colors and I won't be able to uh, perfectly, uh, you know, keep the shadows and everything, but uh, I'm trying. I'm adding a little bit of red here in her hair because I think uh, it'll be um, nicer to paint than a blonde or something. So I'm just mixing different colors. This is a dark brown and a dark red. And now uh, her hat and, of course, the shadows. Now you will see the shadows are actually very black. And so I include them um, when I paint the hat, which gives it a bit of a distorted shape, really, because um, before it was... It had a slight difference between the shade and the hat, but now it's all kind of one piece. But you see, I'll fix it later on, and it, it comes out okay. Right now, it looks a little strange, like there's something kind of funny going on on her forehead with the shape of the hat. So I'm basically outlining really lightly around her lips, nose, and eyes, and all that. And uh, I'm not using a really bright white in her eyes. I'm using more of a gray and then, of course, a black pupil uh, because that's the way it was in the photograph. Her eyes were really dark, and I thought i stick with that and not uh, try, you know, give her blue eyes or green eyes. Okay, and the lips, of course. There I'm going a bit brighter. There's a real nice bright red and a little bit of white. So I'm just fiddling here, just having fun, just trying to make it come out so she still looks pretty, but different, different is okay. This is quite fun. I think it's actually a nice um, practice too, learning where to put the right amount of shade, the lights and the darks and so on. And I'm sure I could do better, but that's a good start. <laughs> Sorry, my head is always in the way. Yeah, and even though I always enjoyed painting, I never quite uh, challenged myself with faces or portraits. Uh, but I'm learning. I actually uh, signed up for a summer course uh, on drawing faces, portraits. And it's really fun. It's very challenging, not easy. And uh, I don't I really have any experience in drawing, especially. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy it. We have a very good teacher, um, and I enjoyed it so much that I signed up for a second course for now in the fall. So I have four more classes. It's only a weekly class. And when it's all done, I will show you what I've done during <laughs> those classes. Okay, here I'm using my ink pads to make some flowers with a stencil. And I'm not really... Uh, moving my cloth around, but I use the same spot. So the colors all blend a little bit and I like it that way. A few more flowers on this side and I'm using the piece of paper so I don't um, stencil on top of the image. And that works really well and easy. I mostly used uh, yellows here and purples and a couple of different pinks. Yeah, I didn't like the flower which was stenciled across the head so I took it back off. And now I'm using my texture paste to add a few more flowers, same type of flowers. And you can't see it so well, but it gives it a nice uh, finishing touch and completes that little flower design. And I quite like it, the way it looks. Now, of course, I have to be careful that I don't get my fingers in it because it needs to dry for a little while. But in a, while it's drying, I'm using my ink pads again. And as you can see, I really like to work with this. And sometimes I do it three times and four times until I'm satisfied. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. So let's see what comes next. Oh yeah, I'm doing a little bit of edging and this is a watercolor brush and it's actually a kit's uh, supply. I think it's from Crayola, but they work really well, have nice color and they smudge really nicely, which I like for edges. And now my trusty Sharpie, I'm just making some wiggly lines 
all around it. I think I go around two times. Oh, no, maybe three times. <laughs> and when I'm all done with that, I'm adding these little commas just ever so often on the side, just to break it up a little bit. I always like to make a little border around an art journal page. I think it makes it look more complete. Oh yeah, and here is a little quote. And oh boy, I'm doing this uh, voiceover and I cannot read what it says. So I will put this in later with captions. I kind of remember, of course, but uh, not exactly. So you will read this in captions. Here is my uh, trusty charcoal pencil. And I like that too for shading. It works so nicely. It's very easy and it gives a nice, gentle uh, little shading all around it. And as you see, again, a little more ink pads. You can never have enough. <laughs> so let's see what's next. Okay, I think at this one I realized I got to do something to fix the hat and to make the shadow look like a shadow and not part of the head. Of course, in order to do that, I darken up the top of her hair a little bit and also give her a little more shadow right there on her forehead. And you see slowly, slowly, it comes a little bit more into the proper focus and you can see um, yeah, where her hairline is and where the head starts. So yeah, I could have probably done that right from the beginning, but well, sometimes you just have to look at things a little bit to see where you're off and, and where you need to fix it and how you can fix it. Okay, a little more color in her hair. And I think that's it. So here is my art journal page. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I also had a lot of fun chit-chatting with you. I hope it wasn't too many words. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.